All right, so staying on page 82A, we're gonna jump right into this, into this and, and, uh, and fight our way through. We're gonna determine the distance to the star of Betelgeuse. Now, there are some typos on this, so first we're gonna change some, change some numbers here. On your, in your book, it says that the absolute magnitude is uh, negative 5.01. Uh, it is actually negative 5.14. So, <clears throat> M, absolute magnitude, capital M, is negative uh, 5.14. And the apparent magnitude is also uh, misstated the apparent magnitude is not 0.58, cross that out, it is actually 0.45. So that's lowercase m equals 0.45, and that would be positive. All right. And now, what are we trying to figure out? Well, we're trying to find uh, the distance, d. So we'll use our distance formula. And you'll find as we go along here that these aren't all that hard to manage after all. That's pretty much pick the formula and just plug in the numbers and let it rip. We call it plug it and chug it. All right, so our distance formula is going to be 10 to the m minus m plus 5 divided by now we're just going to plug in the numbers. So, here we go, 0.45, subtracting a negative, same as adding a positive, plus 5.14, plus 5. I got 10.59, divided by 5. So now I'm going to go to my second or reciprocal log function on the calculator. Second, 10 to the x, plug in 2.118, and I got 131.220 parsecs. And I'll convert that into uh, light years uh, by multiplying times 3.26. And there we have it. Is Betelgeuse roughly 430 light years away, as we said uh, at the beginning of the course. So again, it's not that difficult uh, if you just take your time and just plug in the right values. The calculator do the work for you. And uh, all right, so we'll stop here and we'll go on to a couple other examples.